Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a Cloudflare managed domain to your Minecraft server. This will mean that you can connect to your server using your domain instead of your IP. So first, of course, we're actually going to need a domain. You can get domains from websites like Namecheap, Cloudflare, GoDaddy, and also Google Domains. After you've purchased it, you'll then need to connect it to Cloudflare. Of course, if you have a Cloudflare domain, you won't need to do this. If you bought it from any other site, you'll need to connect it. We have a recent video on showing you how to do that, so I will leave it as a card in the top right right now, and also as a link in the description. Once it's connected, we're then going to go on to Cloudflare. Then of course you'll log in, and once you have logged in on the homepage, you will have your domain. So this one is mine, we'll go ahead and click it, and then on the left, we're going to go to the DNS tab. And what we're then going to do is click Add Record. We're then going to make sure the type is A, and then for the name, there's a few things that you can use. You can use play, which means that your server IP will be play dot and then your domain. You could do MC, so your IP would be MC dot your domain. Or you could put an at, which would mean that you just join directly through your own domain. For this video, I'm going to put in MC. And then we need our IPv4 address. So we're going to go to a Pebble Host server. From here, we'll then find our IP and copy all these numbers before the colon. We'll then click copy and then we'll paste it in the IPv4 address. Next, we also want to change the proxy status to DNS only. So once you've done that, you can then click save. So now we have our A record created. If you do have a dedicated IP, then this was actually your last step, as you don't need to create an SRV record. The DNS change won't be instant, but it won't take long. Generally, it can take up to 48 hours, but when I've done it before, it's taken just a few minutes. We now need to create another record. So we'll click add record, and for the type, we're actually gonna choose SRV. So scroll down to SRV, and then a ton of options will change right here. So first of all, for the name, we're gonna set this the same one as we chose earlier, which was for me, MC. You can be play and also at. So once you put that for the service, we're gonna put in underscore Minecraft. We'll leave the protocol at TCP, TTL at auto. For priority, we're gonna put this at five. And for the weight, we're going to put this at zero. And then for the port, we're going to need to go back to Pebble House once again. But we're then going to copy the numbers after the colon, 25585 in my case. And then we're going to paste them in there. And then finally, for our target, we need to put the full domain. So for me, this will be mc. And then obviously your domain. So mine is strangestan.xyz. Once you've done that, you can then click save. And now you're done. So as I said earlier, this may take a little bit to update, but it should take no longer than 48 hours at maximum. So once this has done, I'm going to go ahead and join my server using the custom IP with the domain that I just created. All right, so now that I've up Minecraft, we'll go to multiplayer, add server, and then we'll type in the IP that we created. So mine was mc.strangestan.xyz. We'll then click done, and as you can see, I can join my server. So we'll go ahead and join it. And there we go, we are now in the server. Now, similar to the last time, this only took a couple minutes to actually update. So it shouldn't take too long for you either. But anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. If it was helpful, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time.